Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today is part number five of our beginner series of lessons, and it's going to conclude with how to actually swing the golf club in a full swing. Alright, so part one was the grip, part two was the setup, part three was chipping, we had a little stroke, number four was uh, doing pitching when we started doing a little bit bigger swing, and today we're going to conclude it with how to actually do the full swing, okay? And I'm gonna give you some guidelines and I'm gonna give you some drills also too because you're brand new to the game and the stuff I'm gonna show you is stuff I've used for over 25 years and it works and it's stuff you can practice at your house too. You don't necessarily have to be on a driving range and hitting a golf ball. It's just really about learning the motion of the swing and, and, and doing some stuff that you can actually get the feel of at home and then you go on the course and you get a club you've got an idea of what you're doing, okay? So, I've got some tools here. We've got different things. Uh, I'll show you what that's all about here. I've got my rods here for alignment, like we talked about before, my feet. We need to be parallel. And then I've got this. We're gonna talk about swing path today. I think this is a good idea. A lot of people get off on the wrong track. Let's get off on the right track. So, I'm gonna take like a pitching wedge here. And we're gonna go through the setup here. We know how to do that. We'll grip, aim, posture. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a bigger swing where we get it all together, okay? So, within the setup, you can see when we do a full swing, 50-50 here, the left hip goes up a little bit, like we talked about, and then the ball position for pitching wedge is in the center. But you can see my left eye is back here behind the, the ball and on the flange. So when we take it back, I got 50-50 in the ground, I'm gonna keep it very solid. I want to turn back where I'm to the outside of this rod here. And you can see halfway back, I'm down the foot line, and this is pointing at my belly. Okay, so then from there, we're just going to hinge it. And now I've got a full turn. So here's what we want to feel. We want to feel this belly button is pointing right at my big toe, which is about 45 degrees. And then my chest turn is 90 degrees back, so a two to one ratio there. That would be ideal. So when you're at home, you can practice getting that feel, shoulders underneath your chin. Okay, so let's hit a couple here. Okay, nothing too hard. Just trying to get the feel of what I'm doing. But I love to have stuff when I'm practicing that keeps me visually correct, especially aiming, my path back, ball position a distance from it. Okay, those are good swings. Okay, so I've been doing it a long time, so I'm gonna give you some drills. Some of the things I see happen more times than not with most players or beginners is they're very leggy and they don't understand the separation of power between the top part and the lower half. So when I got two balls here, the first one I'm going to show you how to do, it's a little bit of a mini workout here. I was telling somebody earlier, it's almost like a little, little cross training workout if you do this deal. So it's a two for one deal, working on your golf swing and you're getting a workout. So if you don't believe me, try it. <laughs> okay, so this is a 10 pound ball I use for wall balls when I work out. But put this in between your legs here. It's a little bit better if you have shorts. It's a little slippery with the pants on. But all I'm gonna do here, it keeps my legs still, is I'm just gonna work on turning my upper half while this keeps my lower half still. Okay, it's a little bit restrictive. And I'm gonna show you how to get through it with the ball too, it's pretty cool. But you can see, that that's, that's one thing I tell people all the time, get really tight at the bottom here at the, with your legs. Push down in the ground, you do this a little bit, you'll get the idea of how this stays solid. You don't want to move it everywhere. So like I weigh 175 pounds, make yourself feel like you're like 50 pounds heavier, push down on the ground, okay? All right, now I'm gonna show you with that drill how to follow through it. So this time, instead of keeping the ball there the whole time, when I come through it, I'm gonna do it back. And then when I hit, I'm actually going to let the ball fall out, okay? 
So that would be something really to kind of work on at the at your house. I think would be better than actually hitting balls. But just put the ball in here. Point at the belly, go back, turn, swing down, and then through impact, let the ball release. And then you can see your right knee goes, covers up the space in between here. So that right knee is almost all the way over here like that. Okay, and your weight's forward, belly button's forward. That would be great. That would be ideal to practice this. Okay. So, another thing, just had a lesson with a person earlier, and very disconnected on the takeaway. That's a very common problem. So he was like this. I tell you, we see it all the time with amateurs. It's a big problem. That's why I have the rod here. But that's where a ball like this comes in hand. Handy. You can put it in here. And what we want to do is just want to do little swings. Go back, and then you feel your wrist hinge. It's going to keep you short back. But more importantly, it's going to keep you connected. And then when you come through, to keep that ball in there, everything has to go together, okay? Again, you don't necessarily need to hit a ball with this. It's just more the motion and feel. So, you go like this, go back, boom, come down, and there's your motion right there. Boom, come down, and then you feel all your weight on your left side, okay? Now, if you want to combine the two, it's going to be a really good workout, but uh, actually it does work. You can do that. Okay? So, here we go. Put this here. Boom. Down. Come down, and then let it release. It's a little slippery, but you get the idea. Um, and then when you go hit, I tell you what, when you go out there after you practice this at your house, and you feel how firm your legs are. Like I can just feel it right now burning. Like I just had a little workout. So I'm feeling my legs plant down here, bow my knees out a little bit, and then just really, yeah. I, mean, I can just feel very connected. So these are some ideas of how to do a bigger swing. And uh, in the beginning, you need, you need to not just go out there, all right, now, Hey, I've been playing two weeks, got this chipping and pitching thing down. I'm just gonna go full swing and hit nothing but drivers. Man, legs go all over the place, which causes more timing to have an issue and then get disconnected. So uh, this is a great way, routine to practice, to keep you uh, in line with what you wanna do technically and fundamentally, okay? So please take these and try these, um, go to my, barnhillgolf.com and leave me comments and questions and I'll be glad to help you with anything you have to ask.